If you want to know how to make the jailbreak film robbery in Roblox Studio, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video and in this tutorial we're going to continue the jailbreak tomb robbery. Uh, if you're new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe. If you haven't watched part uh, 1 yet just go on my channel. You'll find it like the video earlier. I do not know. If you want to become a member uh, just click the blue join button down below. And this is where we left off. What we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to do some uh, wooden planks. And some spikes because you know uh, in the jailbreak over here you would have some sp uh, like some wooden planks you're gonna fall through and then you'll you will get like some spikes so we're gonna do uh, we're gonna be doing all of that today first of all let's start off with the planks we're gonna press apart and we're gonna make it the color is just going to be CGA brown so we're just gonna do one let me see does that work yeah it does you just want to get this color over here and now uh, this is your wooden plank we're gonna do wood planks and now you just want to design it the way you want it I'm gonna do some thick uh, planks because I believe jailbreak also has a pretty pretty long you just want to customize them the way you want for example this could be like over here over here and then this one this one would be like right over here. Just want to customize it the way you want to customize it. So let me just do that real quick. I'm actually going to place this a little bit over here. So you get like a little gap. And I want one more plank straight. So it's a little bit more even. And this one just goes over here. So these are my um, ugly planks let me see oh, okay there we go I'm actually gonna rotate it I just want a plank like that sometimes this could be a little bit frustrating just to use your mind so these are your parts do not delete them I'm just gonna copy paste mine because that's gonna be a little bit easier so these are mine as you can see Now we're going to group them, and you're going to call them the Wooden Planks Model. Now, what you want to do is just go over here and put it somewhere over here. Just rotate it like that. And now you want to duplicate one of the parts. I'm going to make it red for demonstration purposes. I'm going to make them a little bit up. This is going to be the part which uh, uh, determines uh, if it's touched or not. So you just want to make it a little bit big. Make sure it covers the entire thing like this. And you want to put it above transparency one and can collide off like this. This is going to be your hit part. And put the hit part in workspace. Now go to a tomb robbery and go to your executors. And call this one the wooden planks. Now you just want to put these two in there. The hit part is going to get a script. We're going to type script dot parent dot touched colon connect function hit if hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid and then a local model is because the script dot parent script parent parent dot wooden planks model colon get children for i comma v in pairs model do and now we're just gonna do v dot anchored is equals to false wait 0 0.1 v dot k and collide is equals to false so this is your entire script done so if you want to test it just test it just make sure to anchor everything so let's me let's test this out really quickly Alrighty, so as you can see, if we walk on here, they're gonna fall apart and they're gonna get off the map. 
So if you want to demonstrate it, what you could do is just put it above the ground a little bit. And um, actually for demonstration. This is just for demonstration. Don't worry, we're not actually doing anything. I just want this part to be over here. Okay, so this is uh, for demonstration. Just to, just to let you know and show you what it's like. Okay, so over here, if we would go over here, they're going to fall apart and they're going to go down. So you're like going to go, woohoo! You get the point? Thank you. You're very smart. Okay. And now we're over here. Let me check the script. Da -da -da -da. Yep. Alrighty. So this is your wooden planks model. Completely done. Go to your descendants map. Um... I'm going to make a folder and just call it useless stuff. I also did that. So just get this. Just, just get these things. Put it in there. So it's a little bit more organized. Now you. We've never done anything. In server script service yet. What you want to do. You want to create a script. Actually no you don't want to. You want to add in a folder. You're gonna call it the tomb robbery. You wanna call, you wanna put this one in here, you wanna call it the executors, and you wanna put another folder with leader stats, ragdoll, and service changer, like this. Let's continue first in our leader stats. So we're gonna call this the leader stats executor. Now you want to type local, well actually not really local, just like that. Game, call on get service players, the player added, call on connect, function, player. Oh, we're just gonna call the tomb robbery. Local tomb robbery, 60 instance, that new folder into the player. Tomb robbery, that name. If I say tomb or tomb, don't mind, okay? Tomb robbery and leader stats local leader stats six the instance that new folder into the player leader stats that name is it the leader stats and now lastly local money is six the instance that new number value into the leader stats money dot name six the money and money dot value is equals to zero. You're gonna start off with zero dollars. Go to your service changer. Well, actually, you can just duplicate it in here. This is going to be the service executor. And what we're gonna do? You want to do spawn? Oh, we're gonna do spawn function, and then while waits one do game call on get service workspace dot name. Is equals to two string math dot random and then dot dot plus dot dot two string math dot random. You may you may be confused, maybe what does this do? It basically changes the surface so it's a little bit harder for hackers to exploit in your game. So you want to copy that one, two, three, four, and five times. Workspace is gonna be changed to players and lightning it's gonna be lightning. It's going to be a replicated first, a replicated storage, and starter GUI. Now you may be confused, newbie, why are you doing this? Just a little detection against hackers. As you can see, it's going to be changing every second. So let's see, does this still work? Yes, it does. Now you can go in here, and then you can go down, boom. So this is exactly kind of the tomb robbery already. We're going... We're making progress, guys. We're making some good old progress. Uh, we're going to be doing the ragdoll in part three. Because uh, if you die, you're going to ragdoll, of course. And you just you just want to get ragdolled. So now let's continue. Because what we got to do, we got to do the spikes. And the spikes are super duper annoying and probably hard. Because it is... Um, it's just hard. So you want to get it part? 
and the size you want to make it 11 by 2 by 11 so it's like this actually 11 by 1 11 yep this is your part now you want to add in a mesh like that and now this is some tricky part the mesh it's gonna be dark stone gray it's gonna be plastic and the mesh ID is going to be 3, 5, 2, 5, 5, 0, 3, 0, 6, 8, enter. So now you got a spike. Uh, the mesh ID will in, be in the video on the screen. The size of the mesh is going to be size 11 by 13 by 11. So it's like this. Put it on top of it. Uh, get the position of the normal part. Position. And put it as the mesh. Now you want to do a little bit up of course. Like this. This part is going to be called the randomized part. And you want to put this one in here. And this one's going to be called the spikes part. The spikes part has anchored on. And can collide false. And is invisible by setting the transparency to 1. The randomized part. Uh, we're not going to change anything on the randomized part. Now, if you you can just come, you can just safely drag this. And now you can put it in the ground like that. And now, I'm going to go to the tomb robbery. You want to go to your descendants map. You want to duplicate a folder, and this is going to be called the randomized spikes. Going to delete everything in here. Now you're going to put this one in here, and now. What you just want to do is just keep positioning like this. Boom, positioned. Boom, positioned. Boom, positioned. You want to position it whatever you want, however you'd like. I really don't care. Uh, oops. They have to touch it though, because else it's not symmetric. Okay, like that and like this. So now you got a kind of like a battlefield. Full of parts. Like completely full of parts. And that's exactly what you want. So now that we're going to continue. You want to go to your executors. You want to make a new folder. You want to call it the spikes. Uh, correction. The randomized spikes. And you want to go into the. Uh, thingy. R spikes. Executor. Delete everything instead of that script. And this is a pretty weird script you may be like huh variables local randomized spikes is a game called get service or workspace dot tomb robbery dot descendants map dot randomized spikes colon get children local random number is equals to a table of 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 let me check how many parts we have. We have 24 parts. We're going to increase this number. We're going to increase it by 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Local debounds is equal to true. Local debounds is equal to true. And now the actual executor. While true do, local random number without a capitalized R. This is a random number with a capitalized R, math.random. Now we're going to randomize one out of the randomized numbers with the capitalized R. Local changed is a table of nothing. For I equals one, comma, hashtag, uh, nope, a random number do. Yeah, random number without the capitalized R. Local ID is a math.random. Now we're going to do random number. Out of hashtag randomized spikes. Randomized spikes ID dot brick color is equals to brick color dot new neon orange table dot insert. And we're going to insert it with changed and the randomized spikes ID. Like this. We're going to be waiting 0 0.5 seconds. So you got half a second to think about if you should move or not. And now we're going to do randomized spikes, id dot 
spikes part the transparency is zero randomized spikes id dot touched colon connect function hit if hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid so if there's a humanoid then local player local pillar is it's a game colon get service players colon get player from character hit that parent like this if debounce is equals to, equals to true then I'm gonna set it to false and we're gonna kind of damage the player by PLR that character that humanoid that health minus equals 50 weight 0 0.5 debounce is equal to true and I forgot something in the upper script for here if you have a humanoid and randomized spikes ID dot spikes part dot transparency is zero so if if you touch it and you have a play uh, if you're a player and the spikes are visible then you can get damage but else you cannot get outside of the table we're gonna wait two seconds so then for underscore underscore or something uh, v impairs changed do v dot brick color this is the brick color dot new and that was my phone medium stone gray and v dot spikes part dot transparency is six to zero uh one and change is going to be reset back and we're gonna waiting one uh, zero point five seconds for the entire process to restart. This was some super intense coding, and you just made it. You made it. I am so proud of you. Mr. Newbie is so proud of you. As you can see, it's randomly getting chosen. As you can see, it randomly gets chosen. And let me just go over here. And then you kind of entered. And now, we're just going to walk over here. You would touch it. You're going to lose 50 damage, as you can see. As you can see, over here, we're not getting damaged. And we're going to get soon damaged. I know it for sure. Oh, we don't. Anyways, if you go boom. Uh, and you just died. So as you can see, the randomized spikes work exactly like the jailbreak ones. Uh, Ragdoll is going to be in part 3. Maybe some other things like the arrow mechanic or the bridge mechanic. And then a minecart and then the gem maybe. We'll see. So, um, if you did affect enjoy this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. My name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.